Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Tonight we're going to do another add-on to our Remington 870 12 gauge. Let's take a look at what we have in front of us. Alrighty, so sitting in front of us we have our Marine Remington 870. And as you guys, well, let's see. As you guys can see, there's nothing in there. Weapon is empty. Just for verification for you guys, there you go. So... We have here sitting in front of us, this is a quad rail, which we're going to install tonight. And this is from Black Aces Tactical. So we have that. Uh, last time we did our first modification or upgrade, whatever you may want to call it, to our 12 gauge here, which was this right here, which was from Phoenix Tactical, which was the uh, kick light stock. So it's a collapsible stock. Um, has a lot better spring in to absorb more of that recoil when this weapon is fired. So let's go ahead and dive right in and start getting this installed. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble the barrel clamp, which is this part right here. And as you guys can see, it goes just like that. And you can also see that there's the two openings are two different sizes. So the larger opening, which is right here, this one goes around the tube and the smaller uh, opening goes around the barrel. So let's go ahead and get that going. And you don't want to tighten it down all the way. You just want to give it um, enough so that it stays together. There you go, I think that's good enough. Then we'll put in the other screw. And then there we go, we have that together. So again, before you put it in, you wanna make sure that you're going to have the larger opening, which is right here for the tube and the smaller for the barrel. So bottom part here is our larger opening. So we're gonna just slide this right inside there, just like that. And then we have two additional screws here. And this is gonna go right into the center and we're just going to tighten it down some you don't want to tighten it all the way yet because uh, you want to be able to put it on first and then tighten it evenly all right and we got that now and as you guys can see inside it's there and in place and ready to go so let's do the next step here all right, for our next step now, we need to remove these two pins. Um, these ones are actually bolted on here, um, and that's because of this attachment rail that I got uh, previously for this uh, weapon. So let's go ahead and get these out. And now we're just going to slide this off here. And then we can go ahead and get a little wipe really fast. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the provided pins here. We have two of them, so we have the large one here in the back. Got that in. And the smaller one. All right, that was a little, little bit got a little bit stuck there. Not sure exactly why. Uh, maybe somebody with more experience could let me know. 
I look pretty aligned up, but anyways, we got it through. So let's go ahead and now go ahead and actually put on the quad rail here. Alrighty, so before we slide the quad rail on here, we're going to remove this part right there so that the uh, barrels, the barrel on the tube will slide right in. There we go. Now that that's been removed, now we're just going to go ahead and slide this in here. There we go. Okay. So now we have, as you guys can see, it's been it's on. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, put the screws in to tighten the rest down. Let's go ahead and do that. Now they do offer these spacers, which I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and get those on here. That tightened a little bit, and then we'll swap it over to the other side really fast. So we can add the spacers on here. That one there. There we go. And then we'll get these screws in here. Sorry, there my hand was blocking it. And then from right here, we're basically just going to tighten down. Now I didn't use any of uh, the blue Loctite yet and I'm not doing that just because I want to verify that everything's going to function. Um, the weapon will fire, uh, it will chamber properly, you know, everything's going to, everything's going to work. Now let's go ahead and move on to finishing tightening this stuff up here. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and do the tightening of the barrel clamp. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of count your rotation so you can do it equally on each side. So I think I'm going to do like three and three. So one, two. Well, I only got two there and that tightened already. So let me go to the other side. One. I kind of only got almost two there. I got two there, so let's see here. Can I go any more? Uh, now I'm gonna get one. I think it's pretty. I think it's tightened pretty even, but you you know, if you do, you do want to kind of count and make sure that you're you're tightening it around the same. So now we have that, and now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the other one up here, which I believe is probably already tightened. Get in here. We go. So let's see. It's kind of like a got that there. Let's see. Whoopsie. Not good. We don't want to strip anything. Okay. So we're definitely secure and locked on that. 
Alrighty, so it looks like we have it on. Everything's functioning well with it. Um, as you guys can see, I do have this sticking out, obviously black and silver, but you know, it, it works. I'm not disappointed or anything like that with it. There you go, the Black Aces Tactical Quad Rail for the Remington 870. So that will allow me to, obviously I'll move my red dot over here, on top of here, but the, one of the main things that I want is I wanted to put a light on, because illumination I think is very, very important, especially if you got into shooting like in your residence, or um, at nighttime you want to be able to identify the threat, or identify you know what you potentially may be uh, discharging your weapon at. So for right now I think we're set. The next thing again is to take this out, run some rounds through it, which we will do here soon, uh, just to verify that everything is working and then I can always unscrew and put uh, the blue Loctite on it so that the screws stay in place so that they don't kind of come out as you are uh, discharging the weapon over time. Um, but again there we go, the Black Aces Quad Rail for the Remington 870. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Please feel free to leave any comments and suggestions. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and you guys have a good night.